Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta, and today we are going to talk about hierarchical component models, also known as a higher order models in Smart PLS form. Now let us understand the entire concept of higher order model. In my first video, we had discussed about the layman example which I had taken. The example is that the football team is represented by four players: Joe, Sue, Mark, and Dennis. Now, this football team does not have its own identity. The performance of the football team depends on the performance of these players. Now, let us assume that there is another team, the volleyball team. And here also we are having four players, John, Sam, Laura, and Ditti. So, this again football team does not have its own identity. The performance of the volleyball team, the performance of this volleyball team depends on the performance of these players. Now, let us consider that this football team is representing the country. And this volleyball team is also representing the same country. So, the performance of the sports of any country depends on different uh, spots in which the players are participating. So, the country is now a second order. Football team and the volleyball team is the first order. Now, let us try to understand the same concept with another example. Price is being captured with the help of some measured variable. Service quality is being captured with the help of some measured variable. Personal is captured with the help of some measured variable. Service cap is again captured with the help of some measured variable. Now, this, this price, service quality, personnel, service cap, they are all constructs. And, and collectively, this con, uh, constructs represent the satisfaction. So, now this satisfaction becomes a second order model. Price, service quality, personnel, service cap are the first order. So, this model is also known as a second order model or a second degree model or a hierarchical component models. Now, depending upon the relationship, there can exist four types of model. Remember the terminology. The terminology will be always starting from the lower order. So, this is the lower order model and this is the higher order model. Okay. Let me go back. Football team, it's a lower order model and the country is a higher order model. So, this is first degree and this is second degree. The nomenclature will start always from lower order. And then we will write about the higher order. Okay. Now, let us focus on the arrows. If the arrows are going out of the construct, it is considered to be the reflective. So, my lower order is reflective. And the higher order also, the arrows are moving out, out. And therefore, it is a reflective, reflective model. Reflective, reflective, higher order model. If we talk about type 2, in this case, the arrows are moving out. But in higher order, the arrows are going in. Therefore, it is a reflective formative model. I again repeat that the nomenclature will always start from lower order and then we'll see of the higher order. Type 3 model. All the arrows are moving inside the construct and therefore it is a formative. The higher order is reflective. Arrows are moving out. In type 4, all the arrows in lower order and higher order are moving inside the construct and therefore it is a formative formative type 4 model. Now in which conditions we should go for the higher order? The first condition, when the lower order constructs are similar or have high correlation. If the correlation is high, then it is an indication that it is a second order reflective model. Second, when lower order constructs are not, have, are not similar or have a low correlation. If the correlation is low, then it is an indication that it can be a second order formative model. A uh, second order formative model or construct is to be used. Second condition. If the correlation is high, then we go for Cronbeck alpha. If correlation is high, then we get Cronbeck alpha above 0.7, which is an indication that the construct is a reflective construct. If a correlation is low, then we get Cronbeck alpha, alpha less than 0.7. It is an indication that the construct is a formative construct. Third condition, if correlation is high, then the variance inflation factor will be high, which is again the indication that the constructs are reflective. If correlation is low, VIF, 
that the variance inflation factor will be low, which is again an indication that the constructs are formative. Now, in which scenario we should go for the higher order? It highly depends on discriminant validity. If the discriminant violate, uh, validity is violated in case of first order, then only we go for the higher order constructs. Remember this golden words. The use of second order reflective construct is a compulsion of a researcher rather than his choice. We go for second order model only when we are not able to get the discriminant validity in the first order. It's not a choice, it's, it's not a choice, it's more a researcher's compulsion. Higher order constructs are a remedy for the multicollinearity. When constructs are highly correlated, then the structural relationship may be biased due to the problem of multicollinearity. In such case, the higher order co constructs comes to the rescue. If formative indicator exhibit higher level of multicollinearity, so higher order construct will eliminate the problem. Confirmatory tetrad analysis, that is CTA, cannot be used for higher order constructs to resolve that it is a formative or a reflective second order. We cannot do that. What are the advantages of higher order constructs? If formative indicator exhibit the high level of uh, uh, multicollinearity, higher order construct will eliminate the problem. Some advantages of HO HOCR, it reduces the number of paths and make the diagram clean and neat. Second, number of relationships are reduced. Three, multicollinearity is reduced drastically. drastically. Fourth, it helps to overcome the bandwidth fidelity dilemma. For more videos on Spark PLS, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please see my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos related to Smart PLS. And don't forget to press the like button.